All right, Victorum Gaming fans and Blood Red Skies fans, we are back with another unboxing. We got another one of the new releases for you guys here today. So uh, today we're going to go and check out a Soviet release, and this is a Soviet ace pilot Maria Dolina uh, for the PE2 plane. So we will be right back after we get this open for you guys. All right, guys, so we are back, and we have uh, Maria Dolina here on box. So really interesting plane. So first off, we get a decal sheet with a metric crap ton of Soviet uh, stars there. So definitely useful for more than just the one plane here. So uh, model-wise, really cool. Um, really neat designed thing, too. Uh, some similarities to, like, the 110 but uh, for the Germans, but um, obviously this is its own thing for the Soviets. Um yeah, again, really crisp. It's got that rear turret as well. And again, it's like a fast twin-engine bomber, basically light bomber, attack aircraft. Um, so really interesting stuff there. Of course, uh, the generic ace uh, tab and everything there. And then you got Maria on this side as well. So she adds a maneuverability. And then the plane itself, which we'll, uh, we'll also cover, obviously, when we cover the uh, regular PE-2 squadron. But um, so the PE-2 is kind of an interesting beast here. Um, so no firepower to speak of, um, but it has a turret uh, ability. Um, so basically it's 360 degrees firepower one and then a rear uh, turret, I guess, of firepower plus one, if I understand that correctly. So um, I'll have to go back and double check and make sure everything uh we understand everything on the turret rules and all that. Um, and then maneuverability one for the plane um, as default. So again, pretty solid considering two engines and all that. And then a speed of seven, which again is not bad. Um, uh, and really a real speed of 360. So, um, you know, this is uh, as fast uh, as like some of the early like 109s and stuff like that. Um, and certainly like the 110 and stuff. So no slouch in that department. Um, of course, it's multi-engine two. And then again, the turrets there. And interestingly, and this is the part that is confusing for now, we'll definitely have to research that. And if somebody wants to point out in the comments too, that'd be great too. But um, there is no points cost for this thing. So um, actually 1941 on the thing, but uh, yeah, no points cost. So um, and if that means basically it's just the pilot skill cost, uh, okay, sure. Um, I guess that makes sense. But um, yeah, we'll have to check that when we open up the squadron box too. But uh, that's interesting, certainly, um, which I guess does let you field some more higher skilled people, um, so greater numbers of the plane. But overall, again, um, with starting off with that, uh, basically, uh, generic firepower zero, so you're certainly going to be relying more on the pilot skill then to see you through and actually roll some solid dice. Uh, moving on, uh, Maria Delina here herself. Uh, comes in at 70 points. Really interesting backstory on her, too. So, uh, so far, basically, I think the cheapest ace we've actually seen, or named ace, I should say, but plus 70 there. And uh, here, so only multi-engine bombers. Again, she adds that maneuverability and Pathfinder and True Grit. And then she has a Doctrine card that you get, too, so it's an interesting one to see. So aircraft with turrets employed interlocking fields of fire for mutual defense uh, in reaction to a plane with a turret firepower rating being attacked. You add plus one firepower for every other friendly plane within range of the attacker with a turret in arc. Pretty nasty there. Uh, Pathfinder itself on a friendly uh, ace after making a successful bomb run. All other bombing runs against the same target this turn get plus two firepower. And then True Grit, uh, in reaction to an ace failing to dodge a hit, make a pilot skill test. On a success, uh, no advantage level is lost. And on a critical, critical success, no advantage is lost. And no boom shit is applied, which is pretty solid too. So uh, at the right time, certainly, and if the right rolls happen, this plane can take a beating. Um, so pretty, at least with her, um, so that's pretty uh, solid too. So certainly you can try and hang on a little bit longer and hopefully survive so that you don't have to go to the gulag. Um, so um, interesting pickup. And again, we'll definitely... Uh, take a look uh, really closely at the PE2 squadron uh, in another video here shortly as well. So just to see uh, more about the plane here and see how we might um, incorporate that into the Soviet forces. So, um, but overall, yeah, um, interesting pickup here, interesting skills here, and uh, certainly um, uh, an interesting sort of defensive strategy, I guess you could do with, if you had a lot of these is, you know, just rely on that interlocking fire um, and just fly in formation and hope that, uh, you know, um, your opponent is silly enough to uh, get themselves into a bad spot where multiple, uh, where they're going to be in range and arc of multiple of these uh, types of turrets and stuff like that. So, and again, she's super cheap on the ace side, only 70. And uh, again, 
with, you know, if that's really the case that the planes don't cost anything, it's just off the pilot skill. Certainly that will make for some really interesting lists here facing the Soviets. So um, we haven't really played much with the Soviets yet. We just have some Yak-9 so far, so this is like our first addition to it. But uh, for those who do have some experience already with the Soviets, uh, drop it in the comments. Let us know, um, you know, uh, what your guys' uh, what your guys' experience has been so far. And, um, yeah, anything else you might think of relating to um, this plane or her or just in the Soviets in general. So we're going to definitely try and get all this together here soon also and uh, have a, at least some Soviet uh, battle reports for you guys here soon too so um, stay tuned for that but if you could drop us a like here and subscribe if you haven't already and then we will see you in the next one